Now, the head of Kent's Wildlife Trust says it's now or never for the chance to save Britain's native wildlife. And if we don't take radical action now, we're at a tipping point of no return. Speaking exclusively to this programme, Evan Bowen-Jones outlined his vision of creating a wilder Kent that could one day see a return of big animals like bison roaming the countryside. Well, the Trust already manages some 8,000 acres of land and is looking for more. But the scheme is controversial, especially with farmers who fear the damage in re reintroduced some species could do to crops or livestock. Our environment correspondent Yvette Austin reports. Once a common sight along the cliffs in Kent, but the chuff has been extinct from the county for more than a hundred years. In Cornwall they've made a comeback and now there's a plan to reintroduce them to Dover. It's all part of a much bigger vision to reverse the decline in the county's wildlife. Kent Wildlife Trust is taking a bold step it's changing its whole approach. Conservation has done a brilliant job at protecting the rare things. And you know, without conservation organisations like Kent Wildlife Trust, there'd be a lot less of what we've got left. But we need to change that around completely and we need to get into restoring nature at scale. Um, and that's what Wilder Kent is about. Across the Trust's 8,000 acres of nature reserve, changes will slowly be made. At Bleen Woods, for example, home to the rare heath fritillary butterfly, the idea is for large animals long lost from the site to return. So you imagine Bleen Woods um, full of you know, a complete set of big animals. We could get bison back out here. We can get in some deer at the same time. We can get in some wild pigs at the same time. And they will actually create a much more dynamic, diverse habitat than we've got at the moment. As for the chuff, the Wildwood Animal Park is helping out. Breeding is already underway with the expectation that some will be released at the coast within the next few years. What's really important about this bird is it works um, alongside pasture grazing. So it needs short grass in order to feed, get its orange curve built underneath the soil to eat invertebrate species and different pests, which could be agricultural pests as well. So it's a very important bird and an uh, absolutely beautiful one as well. Farmers may not be so keen on the idea to release beavers into the wild, but they are currently thriving at another of the trust reserves in East Kent, improving water quality and habitat, and they're already living wild in other parts of the UK. The idea that we don't turn things around now is terrifying because we are at this tipping point. You know, it is kind of almost potentially now or never. Um, so we really need to see action. It's a bold move and controversial, but ultimately it could also lead to some of our favourite species making a return. Yvette Austin, BBC South East Today, near Canterbury.